Hello everyone, it's Kirby Nee, and welcome to the channel. We trust that everybody's having a fantastic day and that you guys are in the best of health. And today's inspirational message, I was looking at a great story about Daniel in the lion's den and how his prayer life saved his life. So I said, what made Daniel so special? What, what made him so in? Because his story, like I said, is in, the, it's in Daniel 6, 7 through 28. But there's some things I noticed about Daniel's life that we need to take hold of. It starts with me first. Then it resonates to you. Daniel was firm in his stance for God. And if you don't stand firm in what you believe in, the devil in this season will eat you alive and you'll find yourself coulda, shoulda, or woulda. Another word that comes to mind, Daniel was steadfast. The Bible said, therefore, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor it's your labor, the thing that you do for God. It's not in vain. You can cook for somebody. You can, can give somebody a few dollars. Your labor, you can give somebody a ride across town. Your labor, you can counsel somebody. Your labor is not in vain. If God bless you, then you ought to be a blessing to others. And transfer that blessing to somebody else that's waiting on you. That's why when I retired some years ago, I decided that I'm going to continue to do ministry. Every Sunday, if the Lord give me strength, willing, even as I travel, I'm yet doing ministry because somebody needs a word, a sure enough word from the Lord. So Daniel had showed steadfastness, solid and unmovable, and we need the same thing and we're going to make it through this stuff. He was resolute. He was faithful in his prayer time. And sometimes we throw him off from our prayer time and our study time because that's when the devil comes in and fights you the most when you say, I'm going to read a few scriptures today. Oh, I'm going to spend some time in prayer. The phone will ring. This will happen. That will happen. But that's all right. You make that time back up. Also, Daniel was unwavering because there's a lot of people that's in our midst that's being tossed and driven in this season. And they're being battered by the angry wind that you can tell by their actions. You can tell how they conduct themselves, that there's something happening inside of them. They're going through something that they never faced before. And it will either make you or break you. My mother died. I had to pray really, really hard because I never lost a mother before. I lost a grandmother, but not a mother. So I took that thing hard. I began to pray and said, God, get me through this because it's, 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 it's suffering. It's troublesome when somebody that you love die. And you can say what you want, but you know what? Ain't none of us that strong. But Daniel was unwavering through all of the things that he had to do. And so was Jesus when he walked the earth. Unwavering. Even when the devil took him out and was out in the wilderness having a conversation with the devil. And the devil told him, cast yourself down. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Jesus was unwavering. said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Unwavering. And you should have an unwavering conversation and an unwavering pers perspective. Oh Lord, help us today. Then Daniel was full of truth because the truth had set him free. Plus, Daniel was diligent in what he believed in. You know, it's amazing how people are diligent in certain things, but when it comes to the things of God, we fall short. Daniel was eager to pray, even when he knew that they passed this decree against him from praying for 30 days. That's a big issue because I don't care if you used to pray for one day. If they say you can't pray for one day, then what you going to do? 
Are you gonna stop praying for one day? Because there's a song that we used to sing years ago at my church, and one of those songs was, I shall not be moved. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I shall not be moved. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the very gates of hell should not prevail against it. You should be like a rock. You should be solid and stable no matter what happens. Listen, oh, in the Apostle Paul, the 27th chapter, he went through a storm, but there was no loss of any man's life, but of the ship. The ship will fall apart, but God said, get you a piece because I made you. I gave you the 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 the, 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 the the material, I gave you the wisdom, I gave you the knowledge to be able to grab you a piece and make it to shore. Yeah, you, things gonna fall apart, but be diligent, be eager, be fervent. And Daniel was fervent. And the Bible says, effectual fervent prayer of a mighty man availeth much. You can get a lot done when you're fervent in your mind and in your spirit. Daniel was a sworn servant of God. All day long, all day strong. And when I say strong, I mean, you have a lot of soldiers that are take an oath to go into the military. We all had to do it. But Daniel made an allegiance with God that he said, for God, I live and for God, I die. That's like taking a pledge. Because people will go out there and they'll take a pledge to be a Masonic and the Masons on the Sonic Lodge, but they won't make a pledge to God. God, today I'm gonna pray. God, today I'm gonna read my Bible. God, today I'm gonna go help somebody. God, today I'm gonna help somebody with some, I'm gonna buy somebody some groceries. You see, you see the difference in the lifestyle? Passionate. Daniel was passionate about what he believed. And he was filled, he was enthusiastic about his God and about his prayer time. So, are you excited about where God has taken you? Are you excited about waking up this morning? Are you excited about being able to have your eyes and you still can see? Are you excited for your arms and your legs? There's so much to be thankful for. Daniel was, had all this excitement with him. He know that God had blessed him when he went to the lion's den. God sent the angel to shut the mouth. Mm. And that's another message. Because God will shut things out of your life completely if you pray and trust God such as Daniel. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the prayer of the righteous. We thank you, God, for how somebody pray for us one day. Our mothers and our fathers and our grandfathers pray for us that we can be a people of character, the people of prestige. We pray today, God, that you'll give us a prayer life of excellence in a season of change for the glory of God. And we thank you for this in advance. In Jesus' name, give us to be diligent and eager and excited about praying. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, in the meantime, between time, always remember that life is to be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription notification and thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video and may God bless you all.